Okay. What we have here is a piece of iron. Another piece of iron. This is a shaft connected to a three phase generator for alternating current output. The shaft connects to here, at which point you have four large ferrite rectangular cube magnets in these dimensions to the iron. Same length, same thickness as the iron that you're using. The north fields are pointing out. This is um, taking advantage of the V-gate system, V-gate magnetic force pull motor. As you can see here, here's a piece of iron and you have, you know, another piece of iron, uh, a, a, a magnet here, right? So even though the north is here and the south is, is there, it doesn't matter because this whole side of this piece of magnet will be pulled to this piece of iron just by its position. It's going to make this go down. This, this, this magnet is going to want to turn that way. It's going to want to pull this way actually because it's a magnet and that's iron. Even though the north is here and the south is here, the side of the magnet is going to pull to the iron also, which is going to induce motion that way. And then the north is going to get closer to here, and the whole piece of magnet is going to get overall 90 degrees right there. You can see that the whole magnet, as it's turning, gets closer to the iron overall. You know? You can see there with the pen pretending to be the magnet as it turns you have a 90 degree there and all this magnet space this entire magnet's face or side is pulling to that iron anyway the irons are wrapped with coils here at the tip the iron bars and when your north field gets there you will trigger the coil to push it along try not to use any more energy than you need to to just break the connection between the north here and the tip of this iron. You don't need to really push it, just break the connection and try to only use the pull force of the magnet to the iron as your power source. That's the concept here I'm trying to drive home. And likewise, as this magnet is being pulled that way, the one down here is being pulled this way. So you have two, two two uh, fields of force going on here between this piece of magnet and this piece of magnet it's pulling there and then you know your next set of magnets and so on just an idea uh, you know comment let me know what you think this is harnessing the v-gate force and, and you gotta have two pieces of iron you notice that this, this tip of this iron is here, and then this tip of this iron is here. That's important to have them positioned that way, in my opinion, due to the pull force of the ferrite magnet to the iron core, and hence the other ferrite magnet here pulling to this iron core. So you're going to have force going this way from this magnet and this core, and force going this way from this magnet and this core. And when these turn this way, these other two magnets are now lining up for the next pull force and you have you have your coils wrapped around here to trigger them when the magnet gets there just like the bedini motor pulse motor any reed switch whatever you want to use and another coil here you can wire the coils together in series and trigger them at the same time with one transistor or one reed switch or you can wire them separately over and out.